Okay, we're good to go. Welcome everybody this morning. Um, I'm sure many more will join as we go on, um, but um, welcome. And as I say, we are on Facebook as well. So anybody that's watching on Facebook, welcome as well. Um, as I say, we're going to start with Psalm 18 verses 10 to 20. So last week we prayed over the first 10 verses. Uh, this week, I say, it's going to be 10 to 20. So I shall read them and obviously feel free to follow them. And then I shall pick out some um, some of the verses that we can actually pray over. So starting from verse 10, it says, He mounted the cherubim and flew. He soared on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering, his canopy around him. The dark rain clouds of the sky. <coughs> Sorry, he made darkness his covering, his canopy around him, the dark rain clouds of the sky. Out of the brightness of his presence, clouds, presence clouds advanced with hailstorms and bolts of lightning. The Lord thundered with from heaven, the voice of the Most High resounded. He shot his arrows and scattered the enemy. With great bolts of lightning, he routed them. The valleys of the sea were exposed and the fountains of the earth laid bare at your <coughs> laid bare at your rebuke, Lord, at the blast of breath from the nostrils. He reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of the deep waters. He rescued me from my powerful enemy, from my foes who were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my disaster, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me. Um, sorry, he, he rescued me because he delighted in me. The Lord has dealt with me according to my righteousness, according to, my, to the, the cleanness of my hands. He has rewarded me. Okay, there's still some more people joining, so I'll just let them in. Okay, still some more. We're getting joined by a few people now. So yes, we've we've looked at um, verses ten to twenty of this psalm, and I'd like to sort of pray because there's some uh, within that psalm. There is some um, worship to God and certainly some thankfulness to God. So we shall pray to God and we should thank Him ourselves for um, what He has done for us, the Father. We thank you, Lord, for, for all that you've done for us. We thank you, Father, that you are a good, good Father. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've created from the, the expanse of the heavens to the um, minuteness of the atoms, Lord. You've created it all. And we thank you, Lord. Just bear with me. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for all that you've created. And Lord, we sit in somewhere in between that. We sit uh, um, somewhere between that expanse of the universe and the tiniest of atoms. And yet we are not insignificant. You love us. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you do love us and you do care for us. Um, you are a mighty, mighty father. And we thank you, Lord. So, Father, we hold these prayers up to you to say thanks. We hold these prayers up to you to declare that you are mighty. You are a name above all names, Lord. And I've been reading this week about how you above all. And uh, we've been looking at John chapter four this week, Lord. And John the Baptist declares that you are the name above all names. And we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for the fact that you are above all. Your son, Jesus Christ, is above all. And we thank you, Lord, for his mighty sacrifice. We thank you, Lord, that you, you, um, you allowed your son to die on the cross to save our sins. And it always seems to be uh, a bit um, morbid. It gives me some guilt when I say, Lord, that, um, you know, we thank you for his death. But he rose again, Lord. He rose again, proving who he is, Lord, and giving us our salvation. And we believe in him. And I listened to the song last night. Um, we believe in God the Father. We believe in God the Son. We believe in the Holy Spirit. You are God three in one. And that is you, Lord. That is who we believe in. And we thank you, Lord, because you are mighty. You are the mighty Father. You are the mighty Son. You are the mighty Holy Spirit. You are God three in one. And we thank you for that, Lord. 
we thank you for all that you do for us, Lord. And Lord, yes, there are many times when we are left with questions, we are left with things we don't understand. But Lord, we trust in you and we have faith in you. We know, Lord, that you are the mighty one and that you, you look after us, Lord. As we go through this psalm later on, Lord, we know that you are our protector and we thank you, Lord. And Lord, as we ask for prayers later on for, for people who are ill, we know you are the healer. When we ask for prayers, Lord, for people who, who need comfort, you are the comforter. You are God, the, you are our uh, almighty God who looks after us, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your mighty protection. We thank you for your mighty healing. We thank you for your mighty comforting. You are a great father, Lord. You are the good, good father. And we are your children, Lord. We are your, the children of God who you love. You love everybody, Lord, but you know that we have turned to you and you rejoice on the fact that you have rejoiced on that fact that we have turned to you, that we have come to you, Lord, through your son, Jesus Christ. So, Lord, we, we honour you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. And we do so in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Does anybody else um, want to pray for the goodness of God before we move on to uh, any more of the verses in the psalm. Feel free to open your mic if you feel if you feel you want to pray. Yeah, Terry, I will. Father God, we praise you. We bless your name because you are in fact holy. You are trice holy, but you still love us. Though we do wrong and we've all been sinful, you still love us. And we thank you for that because you are a mighty God. You're a loving God and a caring God. And we thank you for your care and your love for each one of us and for each one of your adopted children, those that have come to know you as Father because of what your son Jesus has done when he came to earth. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Amen. Amen. Does anybody else want to pray for the goodness of God before we move on to any more parts of the Psalms? We are praying over Psalm 18 this morning, um, verses 10 to 20. And I mean, there's much in there that um, the psalmist is actually um, praising God over. And we're doing the same now. We're praising God for, um, for all that he does for us, and for his mightiness, um, for the things that he does for us. So please feel free to open your mic if you want to pray over that particular part. Okay, we'll move on to the next bit then. Uh, oh, um, Pastor David, did you, you, I saw your mic was open. Oh, it's, it's gone again. Yeah. Um, uh, please good please. morning, everyone. Good morning, uh, Brother Terry. Um, the, it's, it's good to be here again. Uh, we thank God. I just want to pray uh, in line with this uh, Psalm 18 as uh, provided. Here you can see the, 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 the nature of God as man. It's in verse 7, he said, Then the earth shook. Uh, in verse 10, he said, And he rolled upon a cherub, and he did fly. Is these uh, images of God? God Himself is like he, 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 when when in Genesis He said He created man in His image. So you can see that David is trying to put to God. He's trying to put hands and legs and features to God, and He said His hands has delivered me. He has helped me, and this was after David has committed uh, this sin. David commit and. Uh, he has paid it all. He has suffered and he is begging for total forgiveness from God that God should cleanse him totally from all that troubles him because of all that has befallen him through his sins. He acknowledged that he's a sinner. And this is one thing today. We must not think we are righteous. We must always remember that we are sinful men. And David recognized this and he prayed. I say, God, 
you are mighty, you are majestic. You look at the universe, you rode upon the universe, you create all this. And I want to pray in this line this morning as well. Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive us our sins, O oh God. Let us not appear before you as men who are righteous. Let us bring before you, O oh God, the name of our Lord Jesus, your dearly beloved son, the one who died for us on the cross of Calvary. Father, you said in him you are well pleased. Father, when you see the name of Jesus in us, you have compassion on us. You have mercy upon us. Father, we pray this morning as we go into this meeting, we pray in the name of Jesus that everyone that is here, we come across Jesus in his fullness in the name of Jesus. And Jesus, we cleanse us as the Father sees Jesus in us. May his name be glorified in our life as it, as it is glorified in the name, in the life of David, as we see in this psalm, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor David. Um, I'm looking at line 16, verse 16, and it says, he reached down from on high and took hold of me. He drew me out of deep waters. I think Pastor David has um, reflected on um, uh, God being our protector already. And we have done in the first part of our, the first part of our prayer, but we will, um, we will thank him again for what he does for us in terms of our protection. He does reach down and he pulls us from the deep waters. I'm sure many of us have sort of known um, difficult times or times of trouble, and he has rescued us from, from that particular time. I know in my own personal testimony, um, many times God has, has rescued me or he has, he has guided me away from troubles. Um, he has rescued me, he has kept me from harm. And I thank you for that, Father. I thank you, Lord, that you are the protector. You are the good, good father who, who protects us. We are the, um, the ch uh, children. We are the chicks under the wings of the, the mother hen. Um, we are under the umbrella of your son, Jesus Christ, who protects us. Um, we know that um, he says, come ye, come ye who are heavily burdened. Because we are probably all heavily burdened at some point or other. But we can turn to your son, Jesus Christ because he protects us, he looks after us, he covers us, and we are covered by the blood of his, uh, of Jesus Christ as well for um, our cleansing, for our cleansing, where our sins are cleansed, and we have to turn to him, probably not more than each and every day, we probably have to turn to him in, in probably every hour sometimes, because in one way or another, because we are human beings, we have sinned, we have sinned, and we don't necessarily do it intentionally. It's not that we go out to do it, um, but we, you know, we do sin. It might even just be in thought. We have the wrong thoughts. Um, we might have thoughts that um, uh, condemn our neighbour or something like that. But <clears throat> we have those thoughts, those simple thoughts. We want to be pure. We want to be righteous. But as Pastor David said, we, we're not because we're human beings. But Father, the Son, the blood of your Son Jesus Christ has saved us from that. We are saved because of um, because of your sacrifice of your Son. You have protected us from our sins, and you protect us from our enemies as well, Lord. You look, you look down upon us. And yes, sometimes, Lord, we we are in a situation where we have to be um, where we are in trials and we are tested. Um, but you don't test us any further than we can we can endure, Lord, and you provide us with ways out. You pluck us from the waters, the deep, deep waters, and we thank you for that, Lord. You are our protector. You are our guide. You love us, Lord, and you show us your deep, deep love for us, Lord, by protecting us. And you shelter us from harm. And we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for what's your... Um, psalmist david here has put into these these words lord of gratitude for you and i thank you lord too i thank you for the fact that you look after us you are a great great father you look after us as i say you do pluck us from the deep deep waters and we thank you father 
We thank you for all that you are. We thank you for your mighty protection, the mighty hand that you place upon us. So we thank you, Lord, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. I say at this particular point, we are, we are thanking God for his protection. So if anybody wants to pray over that, we I was particularly looking at verse 16, but um, some of the rest of it goes on to that as well. So again, if you want to um, pray over the fact that God is our protector, please open your mic. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Joseph. Good morning. Uh, Father, let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are righteous, Father, we give you praise. We thank you for your protection over our life. We thank you for your guidance over our life. We thank you for how you have been with us throughout the year, oh God, as we end the year now. Father, we thank you, Lord, we bless you. We glorify you, Lord, for what you have done. We ask, oh God, Father, that we thank you for what you have done over the life of our brothers and sisters, the other countries. We also thank you for those that you are saved from the hospital, those that you are saved from accident, those that you are saved from one attack or the other. Lord, we really appreciate for that. You are a wonderful God. You are a loving Father. We see more glory, we see more honor. May your name be praised, O God, because without you, O God, you will not be a life to pay. It is only a grace, O Lord, that is with you every morning. That you have given us a respect. That we say thank you for what you have done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop Joseph. Rahat, I see you got your mic open. Did you want to pray? Bishop Rahat. Okay. Does anybody else want to pray over um, over God's mighty protection for us all? The fact that he pulls us out of deep, deep waters when we're in trouble. If you do, please feel free to pray. Okay. Um, we're looking back. Um, So <clears throat> we're looking at um, verse 11 now. He made darkness his covering, his canopy around him, the dark rain clouds of the sky. And 12 goes on to say, out of the brightness of his presence, clouds advance with hailstones and bolts of lightning. Well, Father, we do know, Lord, that um, you are a very, very patient God. We see from the psalmist, Lord, that you... You can get angry, and we know that um, through throughout the Old Testament, Father, that you have tried to um, to warn the people, to bring people back into line from um, from the situations that they are doing, which are wrong, which are sinful. And we are sinful men, Lord, and we are we're sorry for that, Lord. And we do not want to incur your wrath, Lord. We can see how much you are in control. And we don't want to incur your wrath, Lord, because we do believe in you and we do worship you, Lord. And as I said before, even though we we are sinful people, we get it wrong. We do get it wrong and we are sorry for that, Lord. But, Lord, we do try to align ourselves with you. We do try to be um, as good and as righteous people as we can be. And it's not about being self-righteous, Lord. It's just about following you, being as holy as we possibly can, Lord. And as I say, we do get it wrong. We, you know, we have bad thoughts and we, we probably open our mouths and say things in the wrong time and hurt people. Um, and sometimes, uh, you know, and I confess myself, Lord, that I actually, you know, get frustrated and I get angry sometimes. Um, and I'm sorry for that, Lord. And I probably sort of say and do things and think things out of that anger. And I'm sorry for that, Lord, because... Um, uh, as a human being, we are subject to our emotions and sometimes they get the better of us. Um, sometimes those emotions are led by the enemy, Lord, and we know we shouldn't go there. 
but um, it just sort of takes over sometimes and we're sorry for that, Lord. But we turn back to you each and every time, Lord. We don't want to incur your wrath, Lord. We know <coughs> the thunder and the clouds and the hailstorms are, are in your control, Lord. Um, your, servant, your, your people of the past, Israel, has suffered your wrath, Lord, um, because you tried to pull them back into, into the line and they haven't listened. They haven't followed your covenants, Lord. They haven't listened. And you've tried to bring them into the, back into line. And this is why your son, Jesus Christ, came down to, down to save us, Lord, so that we can, we who recognize him will be, uh, be following you, Lord, and coming back into line with you, Lord. So, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that we are, we are saved from all that, um, all, all the wrath, Lord, that, that, that can come upon you, but we're saved because of your son, Jesus Christ. Your son was the sacrificial lamb, and we thank you for him. We thank you for um, for His uh, your saving grace through him, that we are able to be saved. We are, despite the fact that we are sinners, Lord, and we're sorry for our sin, Lord, that um, you do save us, Lord. You do, um, you do help us and you do love us, Lord. And you want us by your side in your glory in the um, uh, in the new heaven and the new earth, Lord. You want us by your side, and we thank you for that, Lord, because we dearly want to be there with you at, at one point, Lord. We are here at the moment, Lord, to serve you. We are here, Lord, to do your work. But such times as, Lord, as our work is finished, Lord, we look forward to that time that we are by your side and we see you in all your glory. And you are glorious, Lord. But Father, we know that you are in control of this, this world. And sometimes it seems very difficult to understand as human beings why things happen the way they do. But we have to trust in you, Lord. We have to know that you are in control. So Father, we continue to do that. We continue to build our faith in you, Lord, knowing that you are in control. You are a good, good Father, Lord. And the things that do come to test us, Lord, we know, Lord, that you do not test us any far, further than we can endure and that you do offer us our ways out, Lord. So we thank you for that, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for all that you are and all that you do. So, Father, again, I hold this prayer up to you in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Or does anybody here wants to play, pray for their, for, you know, for, for their, um, their sins? We don't necessarily have to. Um, go specifically into detail but we are sinful people and if anybody wants to um, to pray to God over that to to thank him for his saving grace or just you know without going into detail just confess that they are sinners please do okay yes Lord mm -hmm. Uh, we come before you, Father. Lord, we ask, O oh God, in any way, Lord, that we have sinned against thee, we ask that you forgive us, O oh Lord. Because it says in your word that for all have sinned and conscious of your glory. It also says in your word that you are faithful and just to forgive us all our transgressions. If we forgive and, and confess our sins, Lord, we come before you this morning. We ask for going anywhere, Lord, that we are conscious of your glory, that you forgive us, O Lord Jesus. Wash us by your blood, cleanse us, O Lord Father, by your blood, O God Father, that that blood that we share on the cross of Calvary, that you sanctify us once again before your God in the name of Jesus. We also ask, O God Jehovah, in any way, Lord, that we are conscious of your glory, Maybe what you have called us to do in life, we are deviated from our calling. Lord, we ask so that you forgive us and direct our footsteps, O God, Father, back to you, O God. Direct our footsteps and lead us, O Jehovah, in the name of Jesus, that we cannot do without you. That's what I'm calling upon you. I also pray for our brothers and sisters, O God, that the enemy has stolen their hearts. Lord, I ask that you restore them back once again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Okay, we're, we're praying over um, Psalm 18, uh, verses 10 to 20. 
Um, we're looking particularly at, uh, I think it was verse 11 there, which, um, which proclaims that um, in many ways God is in control, but um, we know that he, in the olden times, in the Old Testament, that um, uh, his wrath was demonstrated over the people of Israel because they didn't actually follow his covenant. They, they were sinful people. So if anybody else wants to to pray over the fact that they are um, that we are sinful people, as I say, we don't need to necessarily um, uh, name our particular sin. This is not about com confession to other people, but um, you know, if you just want to um, say sorry to God for our sins, then please open your mic. We are coming up to your yeah, place to pass the night. Wow, praise God, praise God. I would like to just uh, read along uh, from verse 15 here. He said, Then the channels of water, the channels of waters we are seen, and the foundation of the world we are discovered at thy rebuke. O oh Lord, at the blast of bread, of the bread of thy nursery. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. Many waters here represent many troubles, many things we are going through in our life. We are going through so many waters, so many things that is like we are drowning every day. We are going through this pain. So many things are overclouding us in our life. And we are seeking God's help. And David here is seeking God's help. He said he drew me out of many waters, which means so many troubles, so many things. He was drowning. He, this situation looked so drowning that no one can help except God. And God will draw us out of many waters this morning in the name of Jesus. And in verse 17, he says, he delivered me from my, from my strong enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. You know, we are in this situation in life. Sometimes we can't come out of what we are going through because people that are against us are just too strong. But we, we serve a living God that is stronger, a God who is more powerful than anything else in our world, in the universe, the creator of everything. And I pray this morning in the name of Jesus, as the Lord delivered David from all the strong waters that he was drowning from, and the Lord pulled him out in the name of Jesus. Everything that is drowning us, anything that is making us to feel like we are drowning in the sea, may the strong hand of God deliver us this morning in the name of Jesus. May our sin be blotted out in the name of Jesus. And may Jesus be seen in us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, for answering us this morning because we believe as we ask, we also shall receive. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor David. As I say, we, we've been praying over Psalm um, 18. I would um, encourage you all to, um, at some point or other, if you can, to sort of go back over those verses, 10 to 20 particularly, because that's what we've been praying over this morning. Um, but now we want to come to a time of our intercessionary prayers, a time when we um, pray for the sick, we pray for one another, we pray for our nations, we pray for situations. Um, I've got one or two down here um, to pray for at the moment, but if anybody else has any prayers, um, please um, obviously in one way or another let me know, whether it be through the chat or whether it be um, just opening your mic and let me know what prayers you want. Um, but we will start off with um, prayers for, for healing. And first of all, um, Shazi is Shazi, yeah, it's, Shazi's still on, online. Um, I know because I prayed with him during the week. Um, he's still got these rashes that he's um, um, finding very irritating, that he's, um, um, they're very itchy um, and making life a little bit uncomfortable for him. So, Father, we do offer Shazi up to you, Lord. We ask you to place your healing hands upon him. We ask you to 
take away those these these rashes lord heal him now lord heal him now lord by taking away these rashes they say they are irritating quite debilitating because it's stopping him from doing the things he wants to do and he is a wonderful servant of yours lord he he, he wants to do your work and he he brings to me uh, brings to, um he brings many to me, Lord, for prayer. And there's somebody else that I should pray for in a minute for that he's brought to me for prayer, Lord, because he's a wonderful servant of yours and he, he believes in you, Lord. So we ask you, Lord, place your healing hands upon him now, Lord. Through your son, Jesus Christ, who was a great healer, place your hands on him and heal him, Lord. May your son, Jesus Christ, <coughs> um, know him and love him, Lord, as um Shazi loves him we, we know he does lord we know that your son loves him we know that you love him lord but let him feel your your comfort and through these um irritations lord of these rashes lord we ask you lord to to heal him and comfort him and let him know your love lord so we place Shazi up to you lord in the mighty name of your son jesus christ amen anybody else want to pray for for Shazi, for the rashes that he's suffering from at the moment. Let's pray for her. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are a great God. I believe, oh God, that this son is not a barrier. Lord, stretch forth your hands of healing. Lord, stretch out your hands of deliverance upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let there be divine healing now, a healing flow. Let your power of deliverance flow in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you says in your word that we will call upon you in the days of trouble you will answer. I will believe that you are a prayer answering God. You are our healer. You are our deliverer. Lord, we send the spirit of healing the angel that carry the wings of healing. They just fly and move strictly to where she is now. And let that healing rest upon her in the name of Jesus. Whatever sickness it may be, whatever affliction it may be. I remember what the Bible said, that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them in them all, and none of their bones shall be broken. Lord, save, O oh God, Jehovah. Their daughter, I heal her, O oh God, completely. Let that affliction, God, leave her now in the name of Jesus. Let the power of healing rest upon her. Lord, we ask, O oh God, whatever treatment that she's taking now, may your power rest upon it now in the name of Jesus. So even her will touch that treatment, that she will recover quickly and come and glorify you. Because you have said it to your word that you are the Lord that healeth. And may your healing, and may the power of healing rest, O God Father, and move now. We, I believe, O God Father, that you have, have answered. Because they say, when well, we ask by faith that you are going to heal and answer our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. Does anybody else want to pray for Charles in Rashes? Amen. Praise God. I was uh, actually praying this week, uh, and I and I was praying, and I read about uh, this man called Asa uh, in uh, First King uh, fifteen and Second Chronicles chapter uh, sixteen. He had uh, this uh, disease on his leg, but the Bible records that he did not recognize God. He did not recognize God in his uh, in his uh, uh, day of uh, sickness, and he, in verse Second uh, uh, Chronicles sixteen from verse twelve, he said, "And Asa in the thirty in the thirty and ninth year of his reign was diseased in his feet, until his disease was exceeding great." Yet in his disease, he sought not to the Lord, but to the physicians. Hallelujah. So here we can see that the Bible record that he did not seek the Lord. 
but we want to know, and that was why he had a problem at the end, he could not get uh, cleansing. But we know that God, when we seek the Lord, God will answer. Hallelujah. And in Mark chapter 5, we see there the woman with the issue of blood for many years. The Bible records that he, there was nothing done for her. The sickness could not, uh, the, the issue of blood could not go. But she decided that she would touch the hem of uh, Jesus' garment. And on that very day, she, she got her healing. I want to pray this morning for our brother who is sick. As you seek the Lord, as the man of God has said about you, that you bring a lot of people for prayer. And God will remember your good works this morning. Your good works will go before you to the throne of grace. And God will see your good heart and have compassion upon you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And that sickness, I speak to you right now in the name of Jesus. Let those rashes continue to disappear. As we all are gathered and joining faith together to pray for this brother this morning, we pray in the name of Jesus that instant healing from this moment, today will be a day of testimony. You will start to see changes in your body and those rashes will continue to give way because Jesus' blood is a healer. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We trust you, Lord. What you have done in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Um, one of the prayer, one of the people that Charles has brought um, to us this morning is somebody I believe his name is Mukhtan. I've seen a photo of him this week. Um, um, he's lost his leg. Um, I'm not sure why he's lost his leg. Whether it's through an accident, whether it's through illness of some sort. Um, but I, I want to bring him to prayer along with. Um, Isaac, that we've been um, trying to help and support with uh, a project to provide him with um, uh, chickens so that he can actually um, um, that he can actually sort of um, have some income for his family. Um, Isaac particularly has had, um, uh, I believe it to be bone marrow cancer, and this is why he's lost a leg. Um, and we also know that his um, prognosis is in terms of life expectancy isn't good. Um, he has had medical treatment, um, but this medical treatment is just purely to uh, prolong his life. It's not curing the cancer, um, but he's wanting this project um, to be able to uh, have some chickens so he can provide some income for his family. So these are two that I want to pray for um, because they're in similar situations. Um, <coughs> um, similar situations in terms of um, no, neither of them having legs or lost in the legs, shall I say not. Um, so we just want to be able to place them before our Father, Lord. So Father, we do place before you, Mukhtan. We do pray, uh, place before you, um, Isaac, Lord, both that we know, Lord, um, have lost a leg. Um, we know the situation, particularly with Isaac, as to why. Um, not sure why Mukhtan has um, lost a leg, but you do, Lord. You know what, what that situation is about. Um, in Isaac's case, we do pray for um, the healing of his bone marrow cancer, that it can be taken away so that he can have that time with his family. Um, we also pray for Mukhtan, Lord, that um, in whichever way is possible, Lord, that you look after him, Lord. Um, you provide the resources for him to be able to to continue his life, hopefully serving you, Lord. Um, if Charles has brought us to him, Lord, we, we're praying that he is a, a man of God too, Lord. But in his um, his distress, in his um, uh, his trials, Lord, that you'd be able to, to look after him. You'd be able to comfort him. You will be able to um, uh, let show him your love, Lord, and let him know that you are there and that um, he can be a servant of yours in, in the ways that you want him to be. And Lord, we, we say, we, we offer Isaac to you, Lord, as well, Lord, that he too um, can be comforted by you, Lord. We say we do pray for the healing of that bone marrow cancer, Lord. But again, you are in control of these situations. You know why they, these situations have happened for them to be the way they are. And no doubt, Lord, <coughs> Um, these people do provide a witness to us, Lord, to show that um, they, their faith is strong and that they can carry on despite these particular circumstances. 
these particular trials, Lord, that they could be a great witness to us, Lord, um, showing you at work in them, Lord. So, Father, we do place Muktan up to you, Lord, and we do pray, um, place Isaac up to you, Lord, and we do so in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. If anybody wants to pray for either Muktan, Isaac, or both, please feel free. Father, I pray for a brother that has a problem on his leg. Lord, you are a great healer. I strength for your hands, O oh God, Father, the hands of healing. It will move now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I touch him where he's feeling the pains, where the pains are on that leg. Lord, let there be healing now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Daddy, you are a prayer answering God. You are not a deaf God. You said that you are not a God that have ear, but he cannot hear. You are not a God that have eye, but he cannot see. You are a mighty God. The other the Holy Spirit will move now. Wherever I thought he is now, Lord, I ask for your healing. Every pain that he's feeling now, let that pain disappear. Lord, he says in your word that if there be any sick person among us, he said that the prayer of faith will heal the sick. We gather here by faith and we believe by faith that you are a great healer. That's what we call upon you. That's how we come before you this morning. I will ask, O oh God, that your hands of healing will rest upon you in the name of Jesus. Our brother, Oh God. We seem to have lost you, Bishop Bishop Joseph. Okay. We know that he we know that Bishop Joseph was praying for um uh over Mukhtan and um Isaac. Um, but we seem to have lost him now, but we know that his prayers are there, and God knows that his prayers are there for, for Muktan and Isaac. Um, <clears throat> I'm just look, looking online to see we've got, I mean, I uh, know particularly of one person that I wanted to particularly pray for as well. Um, we have a guy called Robert in Uganda who works on our website. Um, he's had to take his wife to hospital. Um, she suffers from lupus, which is a, a debil debilitating illness um the the, the um, immune system sort of almost um, attacks the body itself um uh, i couldn't particularly imagine or understand how that must feel or what that feels like but um robert had to take his wife to hospital yesterday so we do pray for robert's wife lord so father we do ask you lord to, um, to be in that situation and place your healing hands upon robert's wife that um, this illness could be taken away completely, Lord. Um, I'm not sure um, whether there are um, specific treatments that can clear it up or whether it's just controlled. But Lord, we're asking you to, to take that sickness away. We're asking you to supernaturally heal her. We're asking you, Lord, to comfort her and be with her. As I say, your son, Jesus Christ, is the mighty healer. So it's in his name, Lord, we declare sort of healing on that particular situation, Lord. We declare that she be healed, Lord, in your mighty name. So, Father, we, are, we offer her up to you, Lord, that she be healed, Lord, in your mighty, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. We ask you, Lord, to place your healing hands upon her, Lord, and take away this illness, Lord. So, please, Lord, hear our prayer in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. And so, we just prayed for... Um, for the wife of um, Robert, who say um, looks after our website for us, um, uh, she suffers from lupus, let's say, which is a debilitating disease, which the immune system tends to attack the body. If anybody wants to particularly pray for her, please do. Yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah, Heavenly Father, I thank you for Robert. I thank you for his ministry that is, he's done to help me, Terry, and so many other people, Lord, live together with his ministry. Lord, it just seems that um, when you raise somebody up 
in a ministry, particularly like Robert, who is able to do something to help many other ministries, Lord, the enemy will come in to try and stop that. And Lord, the enemy is getting at him and his family through the sickness of his wife. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will touch her and heal her. Jesus, as you walked amongst us in Israel, everybody that came to you, that asked for healing, you healed them. And Lord, we're coming to you together on this group, Jesus, and ask you to touch that woman, to touch Robert's wife, and to heal her. Whatever the doctors say, whatever they think, that is irrelevant to you. You are the creator, you know her body, every part of it, and you know what is wrong, and you are quite able, more than able, to heal her body so that it functions perfectly. Lord, we pray all this to Father God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Um, I know time is whipping along quite quickly now, so um, I need to sort of move on. Uh, but there's a couple of people that um, are in need of um, prayer because of their circumstances. Um, the circumstances being sort of struggling, basically, um, financially to be able to provide. Um, I'm not sure he's online this morning, but uh, I've been talking to a guy called um, Ayandur in Ghana, um, who uh, was doing a, um, a, a course, a university course, to help him to become a paramedic. And that is a great, great thing to want to be able to do, to be able to help others. Um, so I want to place him to other people uh, in up to prayer because um, he's not able to complete the course because of lack of finances to be able to pay for the fees. And I'm also seeing Peter this morning online asking for prayers for, for the children that he looks after because, again, they haven't got the, the, the money or the resources to be able to pay for food. So there's situations here. That Father, we want to place before you um, for you to be able to be the provider, be God the provider for Ayundai, Ayundo uh, in Ghana, Lord, that perhaps he can complete this course. Because again, um, we've had conversations about, about questions, about um, uh, the fact that there are, despite us reading the Bible, we can still be left with questions. But it was a great conversation. And from that, Lord, I can determine that he does does believe and trust in you, Lord. So, Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you do help him and provide for him to be able to complete that course so that he can do the great work of looking after others as a paramedic, Lord, um, because he has a compassion to do good work, to do your good work, Lord, for other people. So we ask you, Lord, to be able to provide there, Lord. And for Peter as well, Lord, who is looking after children and is struggling to feed them, we ask you, Lord, that you are able to <coughs> help him to be able to look after these children and provide for them, Lord, that they are bit they um they can have the food, that they can have the physical nourishment they need, Lord, to sustain their lives, Lord, and to carry on, Lord. We also ask for you, Lord, that you provide the, the spiritual nourishment as well through your word, um, through through Bibles. Um, and being able to, to look up and, and study your word, Lord, because this is uh, spiritual nourishment um, is, is important as physical nourishment in many ways, Lord. So we ask you, Lord, that you, you look after these um, children, Lord. You help Peter to be able to provide for them. So please, Lord, we hold Ayunda up to you and we hold Peter and his children up to you, Lord, in the mighty name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, does anybody else want to pray for their provision? Um, I do want to move on to the situations of the world. and um, uh, But if anybody wants to pray for Ayunda and um, Peter, then please do. Yes, <clears throat> let us believe and pray. Thank you, Father, for this morning. We come home to you, God. We know we are not worse than those who are in those. Do <clears throat> we are not good more than those who have died but we are just alive because of your love. We know you love us, God. We are, I'm praying for Ayudo and uh, Peter, who are struggling to get the resources, who are struggling to get the ends meet, God. I know it is a difficult day all over the world, God, but you say that those people who have been come to you, you will keep them like the chicken covering the chicks, God. 
we know you have power you are rich than anybody you are you are you are a, a good person god you are not a person you are a good to all people all over the world god we are praying that jesus Christ, you help each and everyone you meet each and everyone's needs we know everybody has different needs you meet each and everyone's problem god so that you can solve you that you can so people can have good time to worship you god and also when we heard that everything has gone good well what well your name will be glorified god i'm praying for this group i'm praying for each and everyone god will see here god you know each and everyone is problem you know each and everyone is burden god call for us we know we are having men burdens carrying but call on our behalf god you are our father no one like you god i'm praying believing in you in jesus name amen amen thank you edwin um i want to come to uh, the situations of the world at the moment we are sort of coming towards the end of our time but pastor david i don't know if you can open your mic because i know you have connections in nigeria and i'm not um i haven't sort of caught up with um last few days as to what's happening in nigeria so i don't know whether you can just sort of update us if you if you know and be able to pray for nigeria please oh thank you um yes the situation of nigeria is uh, uh someone has been declared uh, uh president but um there there is still uh contention on the other uh from the other party uh the very popular man whom uh, everyone wanted to be president uh that is the situation of nigeria anyway it's uh, uh the the one everyone the popular person will always never be the president it will always be uh the the, the opposite uh but we thank god that uh, there is something about the country the people of the, the Nigeria, they pray a lot, and that is why we are not seeing uh, high blood shed uh, more than the way it is at the moment. But we thank God, God has come through for them, and uh, things we, we, we settle, settle down. Uh, that is the situation at the moment, and I just want to uh, pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you. When you were about to even destroy the world, Abraham interceded in Genesis, interceded on behalf of the people. And you asked Abraham and said, I dear enough people, if you can find me just 10 people, then I will save the nation. Father, Lord, Nigeria has become a nation that prays. Nigeria has become a nation there are so many ministries in that country. Father, Lord, God Almighty, remember your children in that country. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that the troubles that has been brought forward by this election, by the few, those who want to solidify themselves in power forever, those who want to be the one who will select the next leader and will not allow the electoral process to go peacefully. Those who want to destroy the country, those who want to, 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 to see food the country to its needs, those who want to just steal the resources of the country into their own pockets. We pray in the name of Jesus that judgment will come upon them one, one day. Father, we pray, Lord, that the day will come, you will come true for your children in Nigeria. You will hear the cry of your people so that those who are capable and able to take positions of authority will be the one that will be sitting there and making decisions for the people in the name of Jesus. We pray that that day will come for Nigeria. We pray that the people of Nigeria will see the light again. We pray, Lord God Almighty, that you will raise men, you will raise women, you will raise your hand, mighty hand, for oh God, against those who have solidified themselves in power. You will unseat them and put the right people in position. Father, this day we shall see in Nigeria, not too long from now in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, for peace for the Christians in that country. We pray, Lord, for those Christians who are persecuted in down north in Nigeria. 
We pray, Lord, we do not know how they stand, even in those persecuted areas, but we know that your hands have been over them. We pray in the name of Jesus as we gather this morning that Nigeria Christians will be protected. You will cover them in every corner that they are. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that the light will shine in their darkness. May your name be glorified and your will be done in that nation. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Amen. David. Um, John, you wanted to quickly pray? Yeah, it's just Nigeria is um, always on my heart because I'm in touch with a lot of people from there and, and I get all sorts of stories about the low money there. There are people sort of nowhere to stay, no food. It's a complete mess. Um, let me pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you again about this, the country of Nigeria. As we've said earlier, you know everybody and you know every situation. But Lord, I believe that Nigeria is reaping what it's sown. Unfortunately, it's had so many corrupt politicians that have taken advantage uh, for themselves. They're just greedy for money and greedy for power. And it's caused suffering for the people. And again, Lord, there are so many greedy people in ministry, as I keep saying, with their private jets and their big cars and everything else. Lord, nothing like this is in the New Testament. No Christian in the New Testament was involved in making a lot of money or becoming a, a celebrity. Lord, I pray that you will expose those that are liars and thieves in your name that you bring them down, Lord. You bring them to repentance or you remove them. Remove them from political office, remove them from church office, wherever they are, Lord God. You are the mighty God. You can remove these people, bring them to their knees before their, the Lord, Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ, you are the Lord, whether they, they accept it or not. You are the Lord of Lord and King of Kings. And one day they will kneel before you. But Lord, we need these people removed out of the way. Lord, I pray that you will raise up mighty men who love you, love their fellow Nigerians, and want to see the true gospel, the salvation that you offer preached all over Nigeria, and that millions and millions of people will know you as their Lord and Savior because. They believe in heaven and hell, and for no other reason, they will love you because you first loved them. I pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, John. We have come to the end of our time of prayer. I've, I've got to move on because I've got another uh, meeting to attend in a, in a bit. So I'm going to have to call this time of prayer to an end, but I thank you all for attending. What I will do, though, uh, is ask you all to have in your prayers um um you know <coughs> I'll, I'll you have to have in your prayers all those first of all all those that we have prayed for this morning and i've just seen saying about the children who are suffering from um from lack of food again i just ask you to hold them um hold them in your prayers i also ask that um you hold the countries um um that are suffering at the moment with unrest so we're we're still obviously talking about Ukraine and South Sudan, Syria, um, situation in Turkey and Syria with the earthquake that happened a couple of weeks ago. Um, we just ask that all these sort of areas of the world are actually held in your prayers. Um, as I say, we've run out of time today, but we haven't forgotten these areas. And we just ask you that you keep the, these in your personal prayers as well. Um, so um, please do that. Um, I thank you for all your time this morning. Um, um, again, there's um, there's ministries as well that we need to be able to um, to look to be able to pray for. Um, I've just seen Pastor Nag Nagajuna come up and ask for prayer for his ministries. We ask you to keep his his ministry in your prayers um, and all our ministries because we're all here doing work for God. So we pray for all of us here who are doing that um, work for God. That you hold them in your in your prayers. So as we as we 
um, go forth until next week. Um, just have these um, these situations in your mind and in your prayers. And I look forward, hopefully, to, for you all to join us again this time next week. But um, uh, let me just, I'm just checking the chat again. Um, yeah, um, just um, hold these situations in, uh, in your prayers until this time next week, until we come again. So thank you all for your time. Thank you all that you, you joined us this morning. And as I say, look forward to seeing you all this this time next week. I mean, you can, if you want to, you can all take your mics off now and say goodbye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Um, bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Praise the Lord, Pastor. Bye everyone. Take care. God bless.